Hello everyone and welcome back to my channel, Falling Over Books. For today's video, I am doing my March wrap up. In the month of March, I read 18 books, which is probably my least read month, like ever. Um, I usually read like in between 20 to 30, so this month was not really a successful reading month. I was just really busy and a lot of things happened, so I didn't have the chance to read a lot. Um, and specifically, I didn't read a lot of physical books, but for the month of April, I totally plan on like marathoning all of my physical books because there's a big pile and it's getting to be a problem. So, all right, so let's get started. Uh, the first book I read was Running Late by Katie Ashley. This I gave three stars. It is a adult contemporary romance and um, I liked it. It was alright but not something I'll reread. What I Need by J. Daniels. This is the fifth book in the Alabama Summer series which is a bunch of companion books uh, that are like adult new adult romance and this I gave four stars. I didn't like it as much as I'd hoped. I mean like we waited almost like two years for this book and sadly just didn't live up to what I had hoped I guess. Then I read Unfiltered by Lily Collins. This I gave four stars. I feel kind of weird reading like a book about her life. Like essentially it's collection, it's a collection of essays and um, her experiences and stories and, and whatnot and it was really really fascinating and my heart broke for Lily several times in this book. She reveals some really really deep and dark stuff that she has been through and how she overcame everything and just became who she is today and you would have never thought that she suffered through certain things in here um, because she's just such a happy person in interviews and like she has such a happy and like bubbly personality so it was so shocking to read about that um trigger warnings for um eating disorders and abusive abuse i guess she talks about so um but she has a lot of funny and light stories in here as well so it kind of balanced everything out. I really liked it and if you um, are a fan of Lily or like anything that she's ever been in, I definitely highly recommend that you check this out. Claimed by Alexa Riley. This is the third book in the Princess series. I give this two stars. Dear Agony by Georgia Cates. This is a standalone adult romance. I gave this four stars. I really really liked it. Um, it was I didn't really expect to like it, but I read like a review and I was like, this is probably going to be my thing. I read it and loved it. Dirty Doctor by Whitney G. This is the second book in the steamy coffee collection. This I gave two stars. The Playmate by Kendall Ryan. This is the second book in the Roommates trilogy. This I gave three stars. Forbidden Princess by Alexa Riley. This is the fourth book in the Princess series. Um, I gave this two stars. Riveted by J. Crownover. This is the third book in the Saints of Denver series. Um, this I gave three stars. I just literally, it took me like almost two months to get through. I literally just, or maybe like a month. Um, I literally could not read it for some reason. It just wasn't, it's probably my least favorite book in the series. I just wasn't keen on it. Then I finally read The Roman by Sylvain Renard. This is the third book in the Florentine series, um, or trilogy. This I gave four to five stars. It was a fantastic conclusion to the trilogy. This is an adult romance paranormal series. It's about vampires. And um, the first book is The Raven. The second book is Shadow. Yeah, I, I think cried like at one point in this book. It was just so good and I really, really liked it. Then I picked up Omens by Kelly Armstrong. This is the first book in the Keynesville um, series. This is an adult paranormal, 
kind of fantasy-ish series. Um, also kind of like a mystery contemporary. It has a lot of different elements to the story. Um, I gave this three stars. I liked it, but it was just, there was just something that didn't click with me on this book. I think it was the paranormal aspect. I loved kind of the mystery element where they were kind of trying to figure out what was going on, but I don't know. I also really liked the main character, Olivia. I thought she was a fantastic main character, but um, I don't know. It just wasn't what I thought, I guess, and I'm not sure if I'll continue the series, but um, this also would have made a great TV show. It would have been totally something I would have watched as a TV show, so... Then I read Dirty Souls by Karina Hale. This is the second book in the Sims duet duology. This I gave four stars. Oh my god, it literally like sucked my soul out. This book was just insane. If you did not know, it's a spinoff um, of the Artist trilogy, which the first book is Sins and Needles, and then the Dirty Angels trilogy. And it's a spinoff. Essentially, it's a spinoff of... Ellie, uh, Camden, and Javier's kids, essentially. So, um, yeah, I was super excited to read, um, the first book and this one, and this one was so much darker, so if you are not into dark mafia books, like, I mean dark, dark, dark mafia books, like, violence, Rape, all of that kind of stuff but I don't recommend any of Karina Hale's Mafia's books Mafia books because they're all like that so they're very intense and very dark um, and this book literally just broke my heart I cried so many times while reading this and I am really happy with the way it ended oddly um, although it did make me hate Karina Hale for what she did to certain characters uh, and I just oh, no <laughs> but I love the series and I cannot wait to own physical copies of these two books of the, of the two books uh, then I read Take Me Back by Megan Mark this is a standalone like mystery thriller romance suspense um, I give this three stars I'd heard really good things by, from early reviews, so I was really, really excited to read this, but sadly it just wasn't what I thought it would be. Like, I really did enjoy it, but it just didn't grab me in a way, I guess. Maybe the mystery wasn't, I guess I was maybe more expecting like a darker mystery, but it was more just like suspense than dark or anything. The Struggle by Jennifer L. Armitage. This is the third book in the Titan series. Um, this is also a spinoff of the Covenant series, um, but this is like a new adult version. Um, and the series is about Seth, if you did not know. And I really, really like this book. It was fun and action packed. And I am so scared for the third, or for the fourth book, it's going to kill me. Like, literally. The, the title's already been released, and it's called The Prophecy. I cannot wait. Also, I gave this four stars, did I say? I can't remember. The next book I read was Trigger by Scarlet Dawn. Um, I would heard amazing things about this from other reviewers lately. So I decided to give it a try. It's kind of a um, new, actually it's more like an adult um, paranormal romance. It's essentially about like shifter, shape, shape shifters. Um, I give this two stars. I just didn't really like it that much. It didn't really, like I enjoyed it, but it wasn't like, oh my god, this is amazing, which I'd heard it was amazing. And to me, it just didn't do it, but maybe that's just, it's probably just me. <laughs> I mean, I just wasn't into it. Then I read Bad 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 by Kay Webster and I gave this two stars. Then I picked up Compulsion by Martina Boone. This is the first book in a trilogy, um, Heirs of Watson Island. 
and this is kind of a contemporary paranormal thing it's kind of to do with like spirits and stuff um, and curses and things like that um, I really really enjoyed it as a young adult did I say that I think I did oh my gosh I'm so out of it I give this four stars I really really liked it I loved the characters I just really loved everything about this book um, I did find it a little slow at parts and whatnot but overall I really liked it and I really hope to continue the trilogy so and the last book I read in the month of March was The Book of Jumper by Mathild Glaser. I'm horribly butchering that. I love this cover. This cover is literally like my aesthetic. I love it so much. Um, and this is a young adult fantasy. Fantasy? Yeah, I would say fantasy. Essentially, it's about generations of families who are able to jump in books and like they can change the story but their job is to keep the books safe and the characters safe so <clears throat> they have to kind of protect everything and and whatnot and it's so 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 cool i feel like every book lover should read this book because it has so many great stories i mean there's peter pan in here there's alice in wonderland um oh my god what is that one book the Bennett sisters I don't know what book that's in <laughs> clearly you can tell I don't read classics um and what other books are in here oh the the um jungle book and stuff like that it's really really cool and if you're I just recommend this to every true book lover because I feel like you would love that book just you would love this book just because of that like it's just awesome I gave this book four stars I believe it's a standalone but I'm not entirely sure um it felt like a standalone to me so um I just really liked it and I really liked um Amy and Will they were great characters so I highly highly recommend you check out this book so those are all the books I read in the month of March um let me know how many books you read last month and um what your favorite one that you read was and that is it i hope you guys enjoyed this video make sure to give it a like subscribe follow me on all my other social media and i will see you guys in my next one bye